everyone so today I wanted to talk about fishless cycles um, so basically a fishless cycle is a fast and humane way of growing uh, two different types of bacteria for the nitrogen cycle if you guys don't know what the nitrogen cycle it's basically a process where it uses again two different types of bacteria um, to convert ammonia which is any form of fish waste or um, rotting food or anything like that into nitrites now both ammonia and nitrites are extremely toxic to fish and the second form of bacteria would break it down from nitrites to nitrates. Nitrates are still toxic, but only in much larger numbers in comparison um, to the ammonia and nitrites. If you guys don't know what the fishless cycle is, I can do like a little video on that too if you're interested. Um, but I did just kind of want to uh, run over the steps of a fishless cycle because I've been researching it for a while now. And uh, there are a few things that you guys are going to need and some things you guys are going to need to know. Uh, so the things you guys see here on the far right, I have some ammonia, um, and it's just pure natural ammonia. Um, if it's the right ammonia, when you shake it, it won't have any uh, foam or bubbles up top. Uh, you just want pure ammonia. Um, and there are calculators online to tell you how much ammonia you need to um, use based off uh, the strength of it, how much water you have, uh, and things like that. I'm going to be talking about me fish cycling my 5-gallon tank. Um, now, my tank isn't completely cycled yet, but I am going to talk about uh, my experience in the process. Uh, the little bottle right there, um, the slightly taller mi um, middle bottle, that is water dechlorinator. Uh, this is necessary as chlorinator is not good for your fish and it's not good for the bacteria. Um, so if you're using tap water or honestly any water, um, and this is the top fin water dechlorinator. It's a bit dark, but it looks like this. And um, if you really want, you can use stress Stresszyme or something like that as well, um, and that will actually, um, there are lots of different dechlorinators. This one is just a pretty basic dechlorinator, um, but there are other ones that can um, help the slime coat for your fish and help with adding new fish and things like that too. The next thing you may want is just some beneficial bacteria. Um, this you can use in moderation, I guess, but um, it really, sorry, my camera's not focusing on close-up things today. Hold on. All right, well, it's not going to focus, I guess, today, but um, it's really not that great to use. Um, they can kind of misstart the cycle. If you can get um, seeding, uh, which basically, if you can get gravel or a filter or something from an established tank, that is really what's going to help your cycle, and that will speed it up like considerably, like weeks sped up. Uh, so if you can bag a local fish store that has healthy fish, like a healthy tank, um, then I would definitely do that if you can. Um, however, it's hard to find fish stores that do have a healthy tank um, with no like contaminants or any diseases or anything in them because you don't want to be introducing that to your new tank. Uh, that's why I personally just want to do the nitrogen cycle on my own. So you can get this, but um, they're not really necessary. Um, I have read that Dr. Tim's uh, has a good ammonia and um, nitrifying bacteria that I guess it works really well, but I haven't tried it myself. The next thing you guys are going to want are two pipettes. Uh, these are disposable one milliliter pipettes I just got from my science labs. Uh, this one over here is actually labeled with blue. And um, one is for the water for the API test kit I use and one is for the ammonia. And I just don't want to cross contaminate that. So I do have these. Um, these are extremely helpful. You can get um, disposable ones anywhere. You can get uh, baby ones. Um, they're called... Um, puree, I think. Um, you can find syringes all over the place, so definitely recommend getting two of these. And the last thing over there uh, with all the little bottles, that is my API Freshwater Master Test Kit. Um, it comes with a little um, coating for when you test it um, and five glass um, five glass test tubes so you basically just follow directions add the certain amount of drops in shake it let it develop for a few minutes compare it to the chart and you can see how much ammonia nitrates and nitrates you have 
this is vital. You have no idea how your tank is cycling until you do get a test kit. This is anywhere from $20 to $30, but it can last you like two years depending on how often you're doing it. Um, I think one of the bottles alone just has like 180 tests in it. So for a year, if you're doing once a week, that'll last you maybe two years. Um, you will be using it a bit more during cycling, however. All right, guys, so this is my five-gallon tank. Uh, there's nothing in it, so it's not that fun to look at. So I'm going to try to keep this video kind of quick. So basically, when you first get your tank, you're going to want to wipe it out, clean your gravel, uh, set up all your decorations, uh, rinse out your filters, put them in, start everything up. You're going to want a heater, um, additionally, because um, bacteria will fester at a higher temperature, as well as it's just good to have a heater, especially if you're keeping trop tropical fish. Um, you're also going to want a thermometer. I have a little stick on one that you guys can see in the left corner of my tank. Um, and I'm keeping my tank temperature at about 80 degrees right now. Um, so after you set up your tank, you're going to want to add your water and dechlorinator. As I mentioned earlier, uh, chlorine is really bad for your bacteria and for your fish. So you're definitely going to want to need that. Um, so once you up your temperature for your heater, and um, you're also going to want a lot of aeration, uh, which is like bubbles. So if you have a bubble wand or... Um, anything like that. Um, if you do just have a filter, try to keep the water level a bit lower uh, so that the filter water, the outtake is hitting the water and uh, producing more bubbles. Uh, so you're going to want to do that. That way there's just a bit more oxygen for the bacteria to fester. Uh, if that's, again, it speeds things up a teensy bit. So to start, you're going to want to add around four parts per million ammonia. So I'm going to say that parts per million is just going to be uh, summed up to ppm. So if I say that, that's what that means. Um, so you're just going to take your ammonia. There are ammonia calculators online. I think I use about um, 0.6 milliliters to get my five gallon, about up to four ppm. And you're going to want to test it after 20 minutes after you add it, just to see uh, how many milliliters you are going to need for your tank. Every tank is different, though. So once your ammonia goes down to 1 ppm, you're going to want to just keep increasing that back up to 4 ppm. And you're going to do this throughout the entire cycle. Um, so basically, eventually your ammonia is going to start dropping faster when that first set of bacteria grows. We're going to call that bacteria number one. So once bacteria number one grows, bacteria number one is going to um, transform ammonia into nitrites, both of which are toxic, but it is the first step of the cycle. Um, so as ammonia keeps going faster and faster, um, you're going to want to start testing for nitrites. Now, it may take like a few days for the nitrites to pop up. Um, my ammonia was going from four parts per million to about one parts per million in about 24 hours exactly. Um, so it took maybe two days for me to start seeing my nitrites, uh, which is very, is very exciting. Um, my nitrites are at about uh, between a 0.25 and a 0.5 parts per million right now, uh, which is good. I do want it to definitely get a bit higher, however. Um, so, again, you're just going to keep dosing back up every single day, every 24 hours, uh, to 4 parts per million. Um, so now that you have these nitrates, once those start increasing um, and getting really, really, really high up there, like maybe up to like um, probably about like 2 parts per million or something like that, you're going to want to start testing for nitrates. This means that your um, first bacteria is really efficient and moving ammonia to nitrites, now you're probably going to start developing that second bacteria to move it from nitrites to nitrates. Remember nitrates with the A, that is the um, less uh, toxic chemical uh, that is less toxic for the fish and those can get removed from your water with simple water changes that you'd complete every week anyway. All right, so once you find your nitrates, um, your nitrites and nitrates are going to be going up the roof like crazy. Um, they're going to be really off the charts. If you're seeing some wacky colors, um, do about a 50% water change at this point. Um, and just something to keep in mind, you've only been testing ammonia nitrites or nitrates. The reason why this kit is so important is because you also need to test your pH. Because if your pH starts plummeting, 
Um, you're going to just want to do a water change because the pH is a really good buffer for the bacteria and having a higher pH uh, due to the ammonia is really um, good. I think my pH right now is about a 7.4 or an 8. It's been in that range uh, depending on when I add my ammonia. Um, so that's something you're just going to want to occasionally test, especially during the nitrates phase or the nitrates phase, sorry. Um, so basically, after this, you're just going to keep testing, keep adding the four parts per million ammonia every day. Um, and then once you test your water and you have zero ammonia, zero nitrites, and a lot of nitrates, that means your cycle is pretty much complete. Uh, you're going to want to run it for a few more days, however, just to make sure that everything's all set up. Um, the goal of the cycle is to have um, your tank be able to handle having four parts per million ammonia in the tank and then reducing it to nitrates within 24 hours. So you're going to go four parts per million ammonia to the nitrites and to the nitrates. Um, you can have a lot of nitrates in comparison to the ammonia nitrites like I had mentioned before. You can honestly have up like 20, uh, 30 parts per million of nitrates. Um, every week though you are going to want to do a water change every once or twice a week. Um, again depending on your tank, how dirty your fish are, how many fish you have, your filter, temperature, things like that. Uh, so you are going to want to maybe test your water once a week as maintenance um, and then determine if you need to do a water change in a few days or if you need to do it then, uh, that kind of thing. Um, so now that your tank is complete and you have officially finished cycling your tank, uh, you're going to want to do about like a 90% water change before adding fish. Uh, this is because you're going to have so many nitrates um, that it is going to be at toxic levels for your fish. Um, don't worry though, your bacteria is pretty much on your rocks and your plants and um, particularly, particularly in your... Uh, media filters. Um, another thing that I just want to mention real quick is not to replace your filters every month. Um, that's not what you do. All of your good healthy bacteria that you just spent so long growing, um, that is all in your filters pretty much. So if you do need to change your filter, it's like falling apart, you think your tank's getting dirty or cloudy or something like that, um, keep your filter, your old filter, just kind of sitting in the tank and replace and put the new filter in. That way your old filter is essentially seeding your new filter with good healthy bacteria. Um, I have two filter cartridges. This is a um, Rena tank. Uh, it's about a five gallon. Um, I do have a cartridge A and cartridge B. They do somewhat different things. I'm not really sure. Um, so I would change one filter at a time and have that second filter seed the first one, if that makes sense. Um, I know that the nitrogen cycle and fishless cycling uh, can be a little bit confusing, so if you guys have any questions or comments, um, let me know. Um, fishless cycling can take anywhere from two weeks to two months, um, and if you do fish in cycling, it's going to be even longer. Uh, and that's because you are going to have to constantly be checking your ammonia. You're going to have a lot larger chance of losing fish. Um, you're going to have to use very hardy fish because your fish are going to die and no longer produce ammonia. Um, there's also a fish food method where you can start putting fish food in the tank and that um, causes ammonia. But that can also ca cause really cloudy water and it's not as effective and it's harder to calculate how much ammonia you're putting in your tank. So I really recommend using the pure ammonia method and this is kind of a kind of wait and see type thing. I think it took maybe two weeks for me to start seeing nitrites, um, but I was also blindly cycling during that time, so I didn't really have a test kit, and I was just kind of guessing how much ammonia I was adding to my tank. Um, so now that I do know it takes about um, 0.6 to 1 milliliter of ammonia in order to get my tank up to four parts per million. Um, if you guys want me to uh, draw out the nitrogen cycle at some point, again, I know it is confusing. Um, comment down below let me know um, I did just want to add this quick informational video because I am going to start having um, some videos of me getting my new snails so that will be really fun I do have two snails coming in um, and I'll be talking about them and um, I'm going to try to do some vlogs for you guys so um, I just wanted to throw out this informational video out there I do have a second channel all about informational videos on pets and stuff um, so I do kind of have this background on me so I do tend to make informational videos sometimes. So bear with me guys. Uh, let me know if you guys like this. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and have a great day everyone.